My name is Agnes Hudak, and I work at Mercy Anderson on the east side of Cincinnati. I've been a nurse for 39 years now, and I became a WOCN nurse two years ago. I've done a lot of different things over the course of being a nurse. I was actually influenced by my grandmother to become a nurse. She was a nurse and way back over 40 years ago, you know, nursing was a lot different then. So anyway, I became a WOCN nurse kind of by accident, actually. I've done a lot of different things over my course of my career, and um, I was working in the critical care arena, and one of the um, opportunities I've had while working as a nurse over the course of my 39 years is to see a lot of patients that have had a lot of wounds, and I just was always good at taking care of the patients who had wounds. So when the wound care nurse was leaving, she came to me and said, hey, Agnes, I'm going to be taking a job somewhere else. Would you be interested? And at this point in my career, I thought, well, I don't need to be in the ICU anymore and have all that exciting critical care stuff. I'm ready to kind of, I've done this, I'm kind of winding down. And I just thought it would be a good fit because I have a lot of experience with wounds. And it's so rewarding to take care of these type of patients. I had a patient just recently that came in, he had an ostomy placed, and he had that ostomy for over two years and hadn't really seen a provider or a wound care nurse or anyone. He hadn't had any problems, but he came into the hospital for another reason, and it's our policy at Mercy to go ahead and refer to the ostomy nurse, because sometimes these patients, there's new supplies and things that come out that we could teach them about. So when I went in to see the patient, he had a bright red ring around his stoma because when he initially had his surgery, the stoma was larger and then shrunk, and somehow he got put into a pre-cut stoma. And the stoma had shrunk, but yet he didn't get a different size of the wafer. So he had been having pain for two years, thinking it was normal. And I was just like, oh no, I knew exactly what the problem was, and I said, we'll fix you up. And by the end of his hospital stay, he had normal skin around his stoma and he was so happy and so appreciative because he no longer had pain. Could you imagine having pain for two, two years and thinking that's normal? That's one of the rewarding things that I've had a chance to experience. So I love it. It's, it's so much fun to be able to teach patients and families um, how to help themselves, how to take care of their loved ones. and. So many families are just so appreciative. I had a, another patient just recently that the mother was had a lot of problems with incontinence and she just was always broken down, bright red, denuded skin, very, very painful for the patient. And we gave her a product that was able to help her. And by the time she left her hospital stay again, the patient was all healed up and the patient felt better and the caregiver felt better. So. It's just a great feeling to be able to help patients as a WOCN nurse, and um, I just love what I do.